Alright, Logan, this one's for you. I set up session and recorded something extremely stupid and basic to show you how to time slip edit and also edit the other way, which I'll show you. So here we go, this is what we got. Yep, you get the point. So the method of time slip is where you can hit alt, cut, and then slip within side the parameter here. So basically you just want to do this go along and make sure that every hit point starts where you want it to start. As you can see, this one starts a little outside of it, so you want to go like that. That. The only problem with doing this is, is sometimes when you're doing like clean guitar tracks, they'll start to, the in and out points will start to like make clicky noises. But that doesn't sound too bad. The other method is where you manually edit the waveform by double clicking on it then going to audio warp and then clicking free warp sometimes it'll ask you um, new file or continue just click continue now what this is going to do is you're going to manually um, what you're going to want to do is just click the next part of the wave down here first and then um, come down here and stretch this accordingly and this all you're doing is clicking and moving and then you always want to work ahead of yourself by one click and then coming back and doing this back over here just like that and same thing just continue and come down here like that. and then if you play it back So there you go, that's how you free warp and time slip edit audio, Logan. And uh, if the time stretching method or the free warp method sounds bad, it's normally because you're not playing guitar good. Go back, retract the guitar good, stop being a pussy. Do it well and or good, whatever you want. And yeah, suck my balls. <laughs>